Today would be a fun day to vlog because I am actually going to physical therapy downtown. Michael's mom is gonna come over in a little bit and help watch Isaiah while I go there. I have diastasis recti, which I'm just gonna call DR for short, but basically it's where your abs separate down the middle and they split. Got that during pregnancy. A lot of women get it, but there's just go back naturally and mine did not. So anyway, she's doing e today, which is like short for electronic stimulation. And basically they put like needles in your, um, like the muscle they wanna trigger and they can electronically like press something to make the muscles trigger themselves. I'm very excited and I wanna bring you guys along for this. So I'm gonna try to film as much as I can while I'm at PT, um, but yeah. Bring you along for a day in the life with my 15 month old. wraps around both of the hip bones. And the majority, like right through here, is just fascia. Do whatever you think a core contraction is, good? So it's like, right there's your obliques, okay? And then relax. And so from here, you'll feel just one little poke. And we're gonna go down to that muscular level. Yeah, it feels <laughs> weird. And that's it. Into the muscle belly. You just get that needle deep enough to get into transverse abdominis. Mm -hmm. And then same thing on the opposite side. Okay. I feel like that your right side does not contract as well as your left. So my black lead is a little bit stronger than my red. Mm -hmm. And then so we're going to start here. Then from there, like I said, you're just going to feel the muscles just start to twitch. And we'll, we're going to get it to the point where we can actually see those needles start to twitch as well. Very different sensation. I always tell people it feels a little spicy sometimes. And then same thing. So now what it's doing at this midline, remember that's where your linea alba is. And transverse abdominis actually kind of pulls on linea alba this way, but that actually can, that tension makes it stronger. We want that tension to make it a little stronger, okay? Mm -hmm. Then once we can get that and we get that tension, now we can start working your rectus abdominis again too. Like right now it's pulse, pulse, pulse. It's gonna go pulse, 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 pulse. and it's gonna go to a full contraction and it's gonna grab you, okay? You think about this as like you're not doing crunches, but this is like 30 to 50 target specific mm -hmm. TA contractions. And so again, just kind of taking note, because as soon as we get done with about 15 more contractions, I'm taking these needles out and you're contracting. So all we're doing is neurorea. We are retraining muscles exactly what they need to do. Okay, so immediately now, we're gonna just go inhale to prepare. Exhale, you now try to engage. Yeah, oh my God, you should see your core. Okay, now bend both of your knees up. Keep this engagement. Beautiful, I mean, it's like so so minimal. Okay. So now, Keep I wish flex. you could see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like that is, that is beautiful. And your belly button's doing exactly what I want it to do. Okay. That my dear, again, it's like some, so like right through here still, but I feel that like in range, but again, do you see, there's no coning or dummy mm -hmm. and like you're solid as a rock for you. Okay. So don't do the engagement. Just go ahead and bring the legs up. Okay. And again, you actually, so you can see this little like do, 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 right there, okay? All right, so now, inhale to prepare. Right where I needle, you can see a little red mark, okay? Find that deep core. Now hold. Now, one leg at a time, bring the legs up. Good, other leg. 
And now you can see like right here, like how much tension, I can't even like get in any of that. So now let go of the deep core and you can start to see that little bulge again. And yours is so, so tiny, but you can definitely see it. Can you exhale and pull the belly button down and in? Hip bones away, yes, there you go. And again, you have this beautiful rectus abdominis, like you really have a lot of tone. Mm -hmm. And so now it's a little bit more flat than it was before. Put the other toe underneath you, go to full plank. Beautiful. Girl, I have no complaints. There's nothing coming out. Cover your knees up. Don't hold your breath, bring it back down. Okay? <laughs> Did you feel yourself holding your breath? Yeah, after you said that. Yeah, that's okay. And so that I can tell you're holding your breath because you start to get a little bit of that bulge. But again, there, there's nothing bulging out. It's just like that, that tissue extensibility. Or is engaged, that's perfect, back down. Even less weight in this leg. Yeah, and then come back up. Do you feel mm -hmm. it in the hamstring and the glute on that side? Is yeah. it as much in the back or yeah. no? Perfect, good. So next time I see you, I like the expectation is right out of the gate, I want you to be able to be like, ooh, found it, and then I can tax it like tenfold. Mm -hmm. So now next time I wanna be able to have like both knees at 90, 90 tapping both knees down and up, get you to the point where you can like hang on mm -hmm. and do like reverse crunches or even like hanging knees, like mm -hmm. that's the goal for next okay. time. Okay. So you have to kind of work it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, right? Okay, awesome job. That was really good. So Michael's mom just left and Isaiah is down for a nap. It is like 12.30 right now. Um, I gotta make some lunch, do a bunch of things, but I always leave my physical therapy sessions like just so excited i feel like i get really down on myself like thinking i'm not making progress and then amy just like totally hypes me up i'm sure you could tell from the clips like yes there you go that is that is beautiful <laughs> and you're solid as a rock girl i have no complaints like at physical therapy like she's just a girl's girl like she will hype you up and make you feel just so good about yourself anyways i have a lot of stuff i need to get done around the house during his nap my mind is always everywhere when he goes down for a nap because I have like, he takes a very good nap, like usually three hours, knock on wood. Um, but still, I just like have so much stuff that I want to do. So anyways, we'll see where his nap takes me. I just got a little bit of computer work done and now I am going to fold his laundry. Um, but just like a little chit chat update. I'm still nursing. I only nurse once a day and my period finally came back <laughs> 15 and a half months postpartum, just got it back. And I will say people do not tell you, but the first period back is awful. Like without like being TMI, I was not prepared for that. Let's look at these. I got these for Michael for Father's Day and it's Isaiah's face <laughs> on these socks, but it's actually perfect for him because Michael collects like funky socks and so it was kind of like a no brainer. Um, but yeah, so I am turning my office into part playroom, part office. It just like made the most sense because this house is only like 1700 square feet and with it being so hot outside, like we just can't always play outside he's saying a lot more words he says bubble he says ball he says mama dada honestly everything is dada though like he'll point at me and say dada and i'm like whatever also says uh-oh says truck says duck says car i feel like i'm still having like an identity crisis like i still have no idea what i'm doing with my life i sometimes make youtube videos i sometimes do instagram i dabble on tiktok and then i know that i am a full-time mom and that is the most rewarding job that i have i don't know maybe i'm not giving myself enough credit but like i still try to get eight new recipes up on my website so i'm like staying relevant or whatever but the passion for it is just not the same as it was before having isaiah I'm really enjoying being his mom and like putting all of my energy into that um and it's just hard because then when his naps roll around some days i'm super motivated and i want to do things like make youtube videos and tiktoks and reels and create recipes and cook and then other times i really don't want to dirty up the kitchen like i just want to i don't know read a book because i don't know before having isaiah i was just so career-minded and now it's like 
I don't know. I like to do it when I feel like doing it and it's fun and I know that's no way to grow a business because you have to be consistent and constantly putting out content and like you just won't stay relevant if you post one vlog a month, which is kind of like where I'm at right now. Um, but I don't know, it's just being honest, like that's kind of the situation that I'm in. So anyways, if you can relate, let me know because right now I feel like I am on an island and everyone else has like been able to get back to themselves 15 months postpartum except for me. o'clock and he is still napping <laughs> I don't usually let him sleep past 2 30 but I don't know I just kind of let it happen I am editing this vlog now um, but I'm gonna go wake him up hi <laughs> you bunny ah, thank you you want a snack all right, let's go. Snack is super easy today. I'm doing one of these Cerebelli Smart Bars. It's the Strawberry Beet. And that is it. And then he's got a little pouch, a sweet potato, blueberry apple pouch. Um, doing it super easy because we're going to leave here in like 10 minutes and I'm going to go work out. And I really want you to poopy. You don't ever want to set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back for we are home from the gym and this is usually like the weird time where I have to decide do I want to feed Isaiah um, separately or do I want to try to distract him until Michael gets home and then cook a meal for everybody. So right now he seems pretty content. Um, just wanted to come out here so I might try to watch him from the kitchen and cook dinner. So you're going to get messy. I see you going for those rocks. Groceries are very low right now, but I do have these Japanese sweet potatoes that I already prepared for protein. We've got some chicken sausage. I think, yeah, this is like from Publix fruit. So do something like this. Some carrots earlier this week too. So that will be his dinner. Gonna be dinner we have the chicken sausage that i just baked in the oven a little side salad some japanese sweet potatoes same thing for michael and then isaiah's i already kind of explained but it's just carrots sausage japanese sweet potato that i took the skin off of and thinly sliced apples that i also took the skin off and we will all sit down together and eat which rarely happens but try to do it when i can so do you want to end the vlog or do you want me to do it? How would you like me to end it? <laughs> However you want. Hey guys, thank you for tagging along with Hello Spoonful's day in the life of a 15 month old while getting an e-stem at my physical therapy. We're ending today with some salad, some Vienna sausage <laughs> and- Chicken sausage. Chicken sausage and some potatoes. But until next time, uh, like and subscribe. But if I lay it down